verse, it says, Therefore have I hewn them by the prophets. I have slain them by the words of my mouth. <laughs> I have slain them by the words of my mouth. So the destruction of America, Babylon the Great, which would be an effort to take down the wicked, the so-called white man, Esau, is based upon biblical prophecy. That's why the Lord said, I have slain them by the words of my mouth. So the Heavenly Father no longer holding his peace, pretty much breaking his silence in the form of sending forth his prophets with this report, initiates this process, if you will. Again, it says, Therefore have I hewn them by the prophets, I have slain them by the words of my mouth, <laughs> see? And thy judgments are as the light that goeth forth. See, that's so when you go back here again. the book of Isaiah, the 42nd chapter, and again, the 14th verse, it says, I have long time holding my peace. I have been still and refrained myself, so as long as the prophecies wasn't going forth, pretty much Esau, his rulership was firmly established until <laughs> the Lord sent forth a decree, you know, for this man to be taken down. It says, now will I cry like a travailing woman. Now will I cry like a travailing woman. Now, this will be concerning right now. When the Lord said he would cry like a travailing woman, again, the Lord is crying out through his prophets. This ministry and at the forefront of it is the kingdom of heaven being ushered in, which will obviously mean the fall of this current beast system, which is being governed over by the so-called white man. So the Lord crying out, like a travailing woman, pretty much is the prophecies going forth. And the message, the glad titans, is Israel, starting with the elect, will be delivered. <laughs> That's why the Lord said he would cry out like a travailing woman. Remember when you read the book of St. John, the 16th chapter, it speaks about that travailing woman crying out to be delivered. See? So the Lord crying out, which again translates to the prophecies going forth, also signifies the deliverance of the elect of the nation of Israel. Let's read this again. It says, I have long time holding my peace. I have been still and refrained myself. Now will I cry like a travailing woman. See the prophecies that go forth. It says, I will destroy and devour at once. What does it mean when the scriptures say, I will destroy and devour at once, well, the destruction is obvious for those of us in the know. We understand perfectly well that this. Thing